um, a big wallflower, really. Uh, she, she's very nervy, very nervous. And Cedric is probably the sole person that can do all of the work with Victoria. Um, if I tried to do what he was doing, she'd be trying to tear my face off. Simple. So straight after the show, if you head out to the arena and you hook a right, you'll find our discovery barn down the bottom right-hand corner of the grounds. Down there, we're going to bring a bird of prey species. You can get really up close and personal, have a bit of a meet and greet session if you'd like to. Take some lovely photographs of the bird. You can also see some replica skull designs from some different birds of prey we have here at the Trust. And some feathers that you can have some feel of if you'd like to. Um, so head down there, right down at the bottom right hand corner of the grounds, straight after the show. For any children as well, we're going to do some pond dipping sessions. So if you want to see what sort of pond life we've got, again down at the bottom right hand corner of the grounds, it's in the same area, so check that out. Then we have a bit of a break for lunch, grab a bite to eat, and then we meet right back at the top of the grounds, in arguably one of my favourite places on the trust. And on a day like today, it's going to be glorious. Uh, it's called Reg's Wildflower Meadow. A big, broad, open space. We can fly some of our bigger birds and our larger birds. And in fact, in that demo, we fly the largest bird of prey we have here um, at the Trust. And we fly a team of birds where we kind of just open the doors and let the lot out, really, and just try and fill the skies with birds as much as we can. And we have about 16 birds in the sky at one time. So definitely not a demonstration to miss. Right at the top of the ground, two o'clock for Valley of the Eagles. And then to round off the day, we have one more demonstration at 3.45. And have we got any owl fans in the audience today? Raise your hands if you like owls. Yeah, look at that, most of the audience. Um, we'll stick around 3.45. It's simply called Woodland Owls um, in our Silver Birch Glade Arena, Woodland Arena, near the top of the grounds. Very natural habitat for most species of owls that you'll find throughout the world. Um, so three different demonstrations, trying to focus on the natural habitats for all those birds that you're going to be seeing if you find them in the wild. Kind of around about now. Well done. <laughs> this kind of is now the name of the game, as the guys that are flying him are going to do their very best to take out... Oh, look at this! Take out is probably the wrong choice of words to use, to be fair. Uh, I say cover every section of the audience, so you all kind of get that road inside view of our milky eagle out, that you just want to pick him up and give him a hug. Come through the centre again. Oh, that was really low that time. Um, however, he is a formidable predator, and all you have to look at is his feet. That's where the power is, and that's actually what defines him as a bird of prey. You have other birds around the world, such as storks and herons, for example, that will also eat meat, but they're not classed as birds of prey because they don't so striking, so different. They're sometimes nicknamed the long-legged marching eagle from time to time because this is what they do. They run around everywhere, searching for any sort of food that they possibly can. But he's just demonstrated there that he does have quite a large wingspan. Here we go again. Ooh, look at that.
waiting. Yeah. Oh, we... And I'm thirsty. Adam's just gone to get you a drink, hasn't he? He's gone. Just to get you a drink. He's disappeared though. I can't see him anymore. There's an owl there. What are we going to watch now, Evie? Carnival. A carnival? Yes. All oh, right. I think it's more birds. No, it isn't. The Valley of the Eagles. No, it isn't. Oh. It's this. What is that? This. What is it? It says, save the vultures. Why do you want to save the vultures? Because they're don't getting eat it. killed. Why, how are they getting killed? I don't know. By poachers. What's a poacher? The people that take ivory from elephants. Poor elephants. Mm. And vultures. Yeah. You're looking cool with your glasses. We do it every day. Come back up, pass the straw, we'll be here. Play some music and, well, find the birds, obviously. Um, this one, here. And they, uh, well, I said they're not perfect, nobody's perfect, so they're so, but uh, sometimes they miss the food. But it doesn't matter, in 10 kites, you can be sure if one misses the food, the other one's going to find it. And, and uh, but it's very rare you see one landing. Usually they scoot the food like this, scoot the food on the floor and taking off very, very quickly. Obviously, in England, you've got the native red kites and uh, a bird is slightly bigger, weighing about two pounds. Uh, these birds are slightly smaller, but nonetheless, it's just amazing fire. It's <laughs> also really quite interesting, exciting, but obviously it didn't work. That means, well, nobody clapped. Fair enough, fair enough, eh, fair enough. You've been with us for a little while, or birds, they respond to signal, visual signal usually. Cats, it's different, it's an audio signal. You didn't clap, you were not impressed. That is the reason why they stay with us. Can we do it again then? Yeah, sure. yeah we need to take them home, do we? We still have two birds. We're going to go for three pieces of food, of course. Three pieces of food. I too didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> three pieces of food. Please, if they catch the food, please do clap. If they miss the food, please do clap. Whatever, now you have to clap. We want these guys to go home. Ben, whatever you want, you go for it. Scoring his silver cards, he needs to, uh, well, he's going quiet, but he's got the right card. Hey, yes, thank you, sir, so and that was one, excellent! Look at that bird coming, because he comes with style, he knows how to fly, and he's going to land with three out of them. Very good. That's the prayer, I'm going to go to And just waiting for Shannon. Just come in, 9 o'clock. Just for the end of the music, all on time. Much bigger bird. She has to be careful because she's got the wind slightly wrong. But she's 25 years old, she knows what to do. Alison. Do you always have Okay, so we do our very best impersonation, the short tail bar, which happens to be the favourite thing of most hours. Watching, woo! Very nice. 